Hello and welcome. First of all, I'd like to say thank you for clicking on that little watch button and thank you for being here. This is the first episode of what I had to call Good Vapes. Obviously, it's the name of the channel. You saw it. You know this. What I'm going to be doing is an unboxing. I'm going to be unboxing the smoke or smock, whichever one you prefer. I had to call them smock because it sounds funny. HPRIV. Now, I have no earthly idea what HPRIV means. If you do know, please, please say something in the comments. If you have a funnier comment than smock or HPRIV, drop that as well. Now, I'm just going to be doing an unboxing. Well, it's in a bag. But I'm going to be doing an unboxing today and a brief overview. I will come back in roughly a week get a full-on review but this is going to be like an unboxing and a general first impressions type scenario today so give me about two or three minutes and I will be right back of course it's not gonna be two or three minutes it's going to happen right about now anyways this is the smoke H Priv or Smock H Priv. Now, I got went ahead and picked up the full kit. I was lucky enough to find someone selling the full kits on eBay at a really, really beautiful price. Now, there are other websites that sell the mod and the full kit. Uh, one of my favorites is Vapor DNA. No, they're not paying me to say that. And yes, I will put the uh, link in the description to theirs. If I can figure out how to do that, shut up. I'm new to this. Stop laughing at me for reasons you shouldn't be laughing at me for. That's okay. Go ahead and laugh at me. I'll probably laugh at me when I watch this video later. If I watch this video later. Am I kidding? I'm going to have to watch it so I can make sure I get it edited properly. That's right. I do my own editing. Partially because I like to make sure that the quality is top notch, but mostly because I can't afford an editor. Now, breaking the seal, bro, but the plastic seal is all nice, and it's got the link to where I can download the app, and I will download the app. Um, but uh, then I'll have to not record because I'm kind of recording this on my phone set up in a five, uh, $10 tripod stand that I bought on eBay also. I have an addiction to eBay, by the way. I need help. It wasn't a joke. It was a call for help. Someone please help me with my eBay addiction. Send Discovery Channel. But, slides out, and I've owned several mods. In fact, one of my favorites, well it's not made by Smoke, it's made by Cooper, uh, is the uh, 200 watt box mod they have. And it was not packaged as nicely. To see now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do something different. I've already took the plastic seal off, I slid it out of its cool cardboard thing, but we're going to dive down, we're going to check this thing up close and personal, and if you hear a little... That's me vaping on another device that I already own and have open and probably won't be doing a review on because there are hundreds of reviews for this one already. So, I did go ahead and slide the uh, outside cardboard back on just a little bit to provide some form of unboxing ambiance. It's got a picture of the one in black on top. I hope that's not the one. I specifically ordered the one that should be in silver. Now, it's got all the download this and it's got the spec kit on it right here. It says the kit includes one HPRIV TC mod box, temperature control, one micro TFV4 tank, and 1.3 micro fuse Clapton core pre installed, and 1.25 micro stainless steel dual core which is good for both wattage and temperature control mode one re one replacement xl glass 2 and by xl glass 2 they mean it takes it from a micro to a mini so it's not really xl 
It's XM. It's extra medium. Come on, smoke. Stop trying to call something extra large when it's just a bigger form of tiny. I apologize for the crunchy sounds, but my dog is eating and I'm not going to stop her. She is far too adorable. Oh, uh, this thing's supposed to go from, like, 6 watts to 220 watts. There's a lot of controversy going around on whether or not any of these two 18650s can go to, oh my. I'm sorry, but this thing, this is just a thing of beauty. The button is nice, the little fire bar is nice and clicky. And I apologize for that dirty fingernail, but I work in a newspaper. In the dirty part of the newspaper, not the not the clean part where you make up stories. In the dirty part where you print the stories that the people made up. And I wasn't sure how I'd like this because every mod I've ever seen has always had that big battery door. But I'm digging the battery slider. Clearly marked which way the batteries go. You know what? I'm gonna. I just so happen to have some fully charged 18650s. <clears throat> that I'm going to drop in. I apologize. There won't be so many errors after I learn how to do editing and shit. I hit that slide. Isn't You know, I've watched a lot of different YouTube videos that are based on vaping and I did not realize it is actually very, very difficult to concentrate on doing something while looking at it through your own camera screen. And it did actually one, two, three, four, five. Smoke. Welcome. Well, thank you. Three hundred and five degrees Celsius. I will hit check Addy. And I'm assuming that the tank portion will be. And I was correct. Now, for all intended purposes. I'm going to look and see what they've got. Little bag of goodies, little extender tube. If you hadn't seen this, you take this extender tube and screw it into the top of the coil. And then you take this piece of glass, which is actually bigger than the glass that's on here, by twice. And I will say this, I have a TFV4. I'm digging the big ass mouthpiece. That is that is awesome. And I'm definitely going to go for the bigger, for the, uh, for the uh, taller glass because, I mean, let's face it, anyone who's ever used the TFV4 knows that they drink juice like Gary Busey drinks the souls of babies. I mean, like Gary Busey drinks alcohol. Am I kidding? We all know he drinks baby souls. Well... In order to keep this video from being fucking hour long, I'm going to go ahead and stop this and come back out once I have everything put together. Okay, now, I was just about to start juicing this thing up now that it's a mini instead of a micro. And I just want to point something out. Uh, Smoke, and to anyone else who does a top fill similar to this, make your holes wider, dudes and dudettes. Not going to judge based on gender, but... Um, you're, you're, you're really making things difficult. A lot of people are using these glass droppers and whenever you do something like that, you're kind of, you're making it difficult for the glass dropper to get in there. And I've actually had on my TMV4 original, it, a piece of glass snapped and that sucked. So make these holes bigger manufacturers moment of truth let's put this thingy on here see how she looks see if she mar uh, picks up and instantly registers and then we are going to let it sit for five minutes well I'm going to let it sit for five minutes you're going to let it sit for like two seconds and then we are going to take a few hits off of it. I'll talk a little bit. And then I swear I will make the video be over. And 
I will actually include a link to the person I bought this from on the eBay. I think I paid like 50 bucks for the entire kit when most places are selling the just the mod for like 15 bucks. That and that includes shipping. You'll see. You'll see. Sorry, I almost forgot to mention it does come with a cable for not recharging, obviously. I'm sure you've heard that a million times from all the YouTube vapors out there. It comes with a YouTube, uh, shit. Sorry, I'm gonna leave that in there because it's funny. It comes with a USB cable for firmware upgrades and it talks about how to do it in the book. I may do a video on how to do a firmware upgrade. If that'd be something you're interested in, please let me know if you are. But all together, and I almost forgot to mention the little smock ring, which funny enough, if you actually had the shorter glass on it would completely cover up the entire glass. Not really funny as much as it's ironic and annoying. But, uh, first impressions all together, this thing looks nice. It's got the 0.3 ohm coil. It says, you know, flight 20 to 60 watts. <coughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and take a couple little hits on it and give you first impressions. I've got uh, my juice is, is God's gift by bombs, by bomb bombs. Um, it's, I, I got into my sample box, which I absolutely love, and no, they're not paying me to say that either. However, just because no one's paying me to say this doesn't necessarily mean that I wouldn't accept money to say something like that. Well, not, not to say good things, but I wouldn't accept, like, free stuff in order to review. Because I would do that, even though I'm not currently. Everything that you saw on the table is stuff that I purchased with my own hard-earned money. Now, for the toke. You got a toke toke. Flavor's pretty nice, actually. Um, I've, I've vaped the juice before, but I'm also used to vaping at higher wattages. Yeah, I know, I'm one of those guys. So fucking sue me. Pretty nice. Really, really airy. This is definitely a cloud chasing Addy. It's got just the teeniest little bit of overhang onto the screen. Just the teeniest little bit. Nothing in viewable mode. I mean, you're not covering up any of your vitals. But I'm going to go ahead and bump this son of a gun up to 60 watts. Felt nice. Felt very, very nice. Anyways, I'm going to call this one a wrap for the day. Thank you for coming by. If you like that, hit the like button. If you like me, hit the subscribe button. If you hate me and feel the need to leave a hate comment, go ahead. If you want to leave a happy comment, leave a happy comment. And if you really hate me, hit the subscribe button. So next time I post a video, you can do more hate comments. Because, well, you know... I'm desperate for subscribers. Bye.